thanks for joining us at betterthanchocolateonline.com. Today we're talking to an actual professional. Kim Switnicki is here to talk to us. She is a professional sex and intimacy coach. Wait till you hear what she has to say. <laughs> so hi Kim, how are you? Hi, good Frankie, I'm wonderful. Great. Yes. Now, I have an important question. Okay, I'm better, ready. <laughs> better Than Chocolate Online <laughs> yeah. has been running a flirt fest. Mm -hmm. 30 days I asked all of our fans and all of you participated to flirt with their significant others or perfect strangers. Oh, that's every day, okay, at least yeah. once a day. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they got some pretty interesting responses out of it. Everything from, "Oh my God, what did you break?" to, <laughs> yeah. "Wow, my wife still loves me." Yes. So yeah. is that a common phenomenon with long-term couples and short-term couples? Is that something you see? Well, the re the reaction is certainly common, um, and I think far too few people flirt. So good for you for encouraging people because whether you're in a new relationship and you kind of do it naturally when you first meet, it's it, you're in that natural flirting way and right. that, you know that state of mind. Um, but when you've been together for a long time, you almost take each other for granted, and there are probably lots of people that know that feeling. So it's really nice to just add that back in, and especially the long you've been in a relationship the more important it is because you know somebody if you're in a say you're at a party or you're out for dinner and you you see your lover across the room and you kind of wink or or give a nod or blow them a kiss or something I mean how would you feel I mean it, it feels good to go wow yeah. there's all these maybe other beautiful women or good-looking guys around and and they're still looking at me and they still like me or or you go by and you do the pat on the butt and you know when nobody's looking and and it makes you feel good and and it is something that lets you and your partner know that you're together you're intimate together and this is something you're not doing with anybody else it's just for each other right and for just the women mm -hmm. uh, the responses we got were um, you know at the beginning I felt really silly it mm -hmm. felt kind of stupid doing it mm -hmm. and uh, you know by the end of the 30 days which ended yesterday yes um, everybody was saying you know I kind of like doing it I think I'm gonna keep doing it I don't want to stop it yeah. felt really empowering mm -hmm. to take that back and it's like yeah. that person is mine and I'm going to flirt with him yeah that so is, would it would you suggest it be an empowering tool for somebody who's you know maybe not feeling so powerful these days? Well, and I think the really important thing is that some people, if, if things have either gotten into a rut or they've stopped making love as often as they had, or things are not going well, they're having maybe some rough times. You may not necessarily jump into, hey, let's go and make love three times a week because we should really be doing that because we heard that was a good idea. That may not really work for people. So the flirting is a really nice introduction back into getting reconnected again because it's safe. It doesn't take a lot of time. And I know people are busy and it can take time to have the romance and do the weekend and go away. And that's really nice, but it costs money and it takes time. Flirting costs nothing yeah. and it takes very little time. And you kind of get practiced at it, and you start feeling like a little sexier and a little more adventuresome. And you probably will start flirting with other people around, appropriately. Yes. But I encourage my husband to flirt. I mean, and women will flirt with him and he won't even know. And I'm always giving him a hard time, like, she was totally flirting with you. And it's like, really? And it's like, yeah, you want to kind of be aware of that stuff. Because it still, <laughs> it makes you feel good. And that's good for you as an empowering sort of thing for an individual, too. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yes. Now, uh, speaking of free... Yes. Uh, we're sitting in, a, in an economy that's kind of, you know, up and down, up and down. There's no real even keel yes. to anybody's bank account these days. Mm -hmm. And I know you have a, a book out that shows us how to have a good time and keep things fun yes. for a little less money. Yes, great sex shouldn't break the bank or the back, and we have great sex for hard times. Speaking of which, um, and this book was created to help people when things are tough, whether it's financially or just in the relationship, maybe there's a stressful things going on, there could be health issues, there can be any number of things, new children, children leaving, anything in your life that's going to be tough. And certainly the economy affects all those aspects as well. So this was a book that has hundreds of little ideas for things to do that most of them are under ten dollars a lot of them are free I had so much fun in the dollar store there are so many things you can do okay whoa, whoa, whoa. dollar <laughs> store we're, we're going shopping for things to do absolutely that, okay I yes. gotta know yes. what do you find at the dollar store oh wow I mean the, okay <laughs> There are things like you can get little feathers there. You can get these uh, little feather boas for okay. like a dollar at the okay. dollar store. 
Now, how sexy do you feel putting a feather boa around your neck? I mean, it's just fun, little flirty thing. You can play with your partner and wrap it around them. You can wrap it around other body parts and just make it feel fun. There are little costume things. You can get wigs for a dollar. You can okay. get lipsticks and bubble baths and um, candles that are scented. You can get a lot of romantic things. You can get a basket and for ten dollars you can go and pick out a whole evening's worth of really fun things. Wow. Go to the grocery store, pick up maybe a bunch of grapes or maybe a, a mango or papaya or whatever's in season. Cut that up, have a bath, you have your bubble bath and you're feeding each other some delicious stuff and it doesn't matter if it gets messy because you're in the tub. I mean, that's a fun time. And it can just be 20 minutes. You yeah. know, tell the kids to go out and play, whatever, lock the door. Mom and dad are gonna have some okay. time that's quiet to be together. And, or maybe not so quiet, but you know, turn on the tub <laughs> if you're gonna be a little bit noisier. And it's just fun and it's easy and it's simple and it doesn't cost a lot of money at all. Okay. Wow, the dollar store. I never would have mm -hmm. thought of that one. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, you were saying like the, the grocery store to pick up like a fruit mm -hmm. or something that was in season. Yeah. What? And, and I'm, I'm kind of picking on it just because it's everybody has a grocery store That's to go right. to. That's and right. That's right. So what other kinds of things might, you know, instead of just going in and getting milk, cheese, eggs, what, mm -hmm. are, what are we looking for? It's interesting that when I, I would have... It would be interesting to check with your people that have been flirting to see if they're looking at the world differently. Because when you're flirting every day, you're actually um, you're re-energizing your erotic energy and you're starting to become more aware of it, whether you're thinking about it or not. And 30 days is that really important time for you to change habits. If you do something for 30 days right. every day, it's going to become more imprinted on your brain. So you're going to do it more naturally. And I would suspect that if these people started to go into any aisle of the grocery store, probably more the produce aisle where there's real food, and started to kind of just think in some sort of sexy term, they're going to see things that look more erotic to them. Something like asparagus, and I'm not talking about using something like that and for insertion. We're not right. talking about very specific, getting a cucumber, getting a carrot, whatever. You can do that, and it's perfectly safe and fine. Throw a condom on it, you're good to go. It's free toys. However, you can have asparagus, you cook it up, have a lovely Bernays sauce or something, and you can get a package of that for a couple dollars, and then you start eating a, a piece of asparagus very seductively in front of your partner. I mean, something like that. You don't have to go out for a fancy meal. You can just... Or cook something together where you're, you know, half naked. Or for each course of the meal, you take something off. Or you have a meal and you're not using any utensils. And so, or you have to feed each other. Or you have to kiss in between each bite. I mean, there are so many ways that you can make food and grocery stores and your romantic life really, really fun. And that kind of gets things cozy again. Rolling along. Mm -hmm. I never thought of it, I, you know, just stripped in a Wow. Yes, <laughs> yes. I like it. I'm going to write that down. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to kind of bring that to a close. Sure. Because, uh, but uh, the book is? Great Sex for Hard Times. Where do we find it? At Better Bookstores, online, greatsexforhardtimes.com. Also, you can go and read more, and there's some reviews and things. Um, it should be available anywhere. All right. Mm -hmm. And this is Kim Switnicki, and they can find you at? sexcoachkim.com or kimswitnicki.com but sexcoachkim.com is easier to remember awesome mm -hmm. all right well thanks very much for watching you can find out more about this or any of our other shows at betterthanchocolateonline.com